Jen and welcome to my studio and today we're going to be doing a very interesting tutorial. Very interesting. So as you can tell from the title, we are doing Made You Look by Megan Trainer because that song is, has, it's been stuck in my head for like a month as I'm sure it has been for many of you. Um, here's what makes this interesting. So this is an intermediate dance that we're doing that absolutely fits. The song, the dance was choreographed to Made You Look by Megan Trainer. However, that song is so protected. It's fancy-like protected. Um, that song is also very, very protected. I can't find a cover of it that, I, that YouTube will let me use. I cannot find one cover. I even tried making a cover and it still won't let me use it because it's like, uh, no, we hear Megan Trainer's Made You Look and you can't use that. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? So I thought, um, at first I was like, maybe I just won't teach this dance. And then I was like, no, this dance is really cute and I want to teach it to y'all. What am I going to do? So then I thought, what if I find a song that has a similar vibe that I can teach you the dance like to that song, but then, like if you're a teacher and you want to take this combination to class and teach it as like a, a fun little combo, or if you just want to learn a dance to Made You Look and then maybe like, I don't know, do it on TikTok or something, then you can take this dance and put it on that song. <laughs> I just can't use that song on this video. That's all. So I did find a song that has a pretty similar vibe. The rhythms, uh, the end gets a little bit tricky, but if you hear, the, if you hear made you look in your head, you've got it. So we're gonna try it this way. I've never done it like this before, but I figure, hey, first time for everything, let's give it a shot. Why not? So it was either this or I didn't get to teach you this dance and I hope you like it as much as I do. So anyway, I will stop babbling now and let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, this is an intermediate combination. So let's get to it. We start right on the verse. So it starts with that I'm not even going to sing it. I was about to sing Made You Look and I was like, no, because YouTube's going to get mad. Um, it starts right on the, the verse, not the chorus part that starts the song off. It starts when the verse starts. The da 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 That part. This is as much as I'm doing. <laughs> so you have um, paradiddle, stomp, toe, toe. So what we do is one paradiddle with the right foot. And then your left foot stomps, which has no weight on it. I know, I know there's a debate over stomp and stamp. Uh, for me, stomp is the one with no weight, stamp is the one with weight. If you think the other way, that's okay. Just like translate it in your head. I'm gonna say stomp when I mean no weight. Neither, neither of us is wrong, we're just different, that's all. So you have paradiddle, and then stomp toe toe. So it's one hand, two hand, three hand, four. So still don't put any weight on that left foot. All of your weight should be in your right leg. So one hand, two hand, three hand, four. No weight is on my left foot because I'm about to use it again. So let's do that one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One hand, two hand, three hand, four. Good. From there, you have paradiddle ball change with the left foot. So it's one paradiddle on the left foot, paradiddle, and then a ball change right left. So let's try putting those together. So it goes five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So there's a little pause in between. Also, if you see, normally I move my neck a little bit more to like look at the screen. I did throw up my neck a couple of days ago and I'm still recovering from that. So I'm a little bit of a 1980s Batman with how I have to turn, but I'm making it work, okay? <laughs> All right, so you have one and two and three and four, five and six and seven. So you're gonna hold the and of four, okay? Let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two and three and four, five and six and seven. Good, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, one and two. Good, from there you have a maxi forward, so step, shuffle, jump toe. Step, shuffle, ball change. Step, or stamp, scuff. So you have one maxi forward, step, shuffle, jump toe. One waltz, clog, step, shuffle, ball change. And then stamp, scuff. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so let's just try that one. 
five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. So can we try putting those together? So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's put those together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. One more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, so you're here, scuff. You pick up as, as you scuff, you kind of rechamber the foot so that it's here and like ready to step instead of be out here. Because if I'm scuffed and I'm out here, I really can't do a whole lot that is backwards from here. It has to stay forwards. So if you do a, I'm like falling all over the place today. So if you do scuff, you gotta bring it up like here, because the next step goes step, and you've got to step backwards. So when you scuff, just don't leave it out there. Bring it up so that you can go step. So you have step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel. So it's technically four drawbacks, but you're starting with the step and not the spank, which is a little counterintuitive for some, but that's okay. Um, I just... For this, especially when I syncopate it like that, I love the step to be on that one, one and two and three and four and five and six and. I just really like that accent. So we're starting with a step. So you just went step, scuff. You have step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel, step, spank, heel. So you have four step, spank, heels. And it goes five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, and three, and four, and five, and six, and. So that's, that's the rhythm. You finish off with step heel, step heel to get you to face front again. So step heel, step heel, and then it's stamp, stamp. And that's on that um, do, ooh. I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble. But it's on that do, ooh. And then there's that deep, 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 deep thing. Again, hopefully YouTube's not like piecing it together because <laughs> I sort of did sing it. So do, stamp, stamp. So from here, you have five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. Can we try that? Cool. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, Good. You finish off the whole line with cramp roll, toe, toe, heel, heel. So step, step, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel. Starting with the right foot. So it goes five, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, eight. So it's just a cramp roll. Toe, toe, heel, heel. So one, and two, and three, and four, eight. So nice and like even, kind of quick. So from here, you have five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight, and two, five, and six, and seven, eight, 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 eight. So you gotta wait for that like. In the original song, there's like that, that what I sang before, the deep, 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 deep thing. Um, I guess it's like a trumpet or a saxophone. That's doing, it's some kind of brass instrument that's doing that. That's where this is. The right on that, okay? Cool. So let's try from the top and put all that together, and then we'll try it with music. The song is not Made You Look. It is not, but it has a similar vibe and it works, and we're gonna go with it. <laughs> All right, ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Row, arrow, ball, change. Step, roll, and row, step, roll, and row, change. Step, stop, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Row, and 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 Can you sort of hear made you look in your head, though? It's like pretty good. I think it's cool. All right, let's try it one more time, then we'll try it with music. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. One, two,
Awesome. Okay, let's try it with music. Again, I reiterate, this is not made you look. So it's not going to sound like what your brain wants it to sound like right now. Hopefully this works. <laughs> and if it doesn't, please let me know in the comments if this is not how you want me to do things. Like, I'm going to always avoid this situation as much as I can, but I would have rather taught you this dance, is all I'm saying. So hopefully that is enough. <laughs> See how it has a similar vibe? I could probably sing it to this, but I won't get in trouble. especially since the song isn't what we expected. This third time is to make sure that we're ready to move on. And it's a video, so you have as many times to do that as you want to. You can rewind this video and do it a hundred times before you're ready to move on. That's up to you. For the purposes of filming, I like to do it three times, but I love the fact that it's a video so you can learn it on your own time. You can even pause, go have a snack, come back, and do it a hundred times if you wanted to. Like, I love it, it's great. I love video classes. Okay, last time before we're ready to move on for filming purposes. song and then come back to learn more. Anything you need, I got you. But let's go ahead and move on. Um, so we just did... So your right foot is free after that because you had step, step, heel, heel, toe, toe, heel, heel, all my weights in my left heel. So now my right foot is free. I have paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle stamp. I think she says something about doing a double take, which is why we're doing the double paradiddle right there. Because I tried to use the words to like make a tap double entendre, kind of. It, it's, I had a lot of fun with it. So hopefully that lines up and you hear it and you're like, oh, I see what she did. I can't show you because I can't play the song. Can you tell I'm frustrated? <laughs> Can you tell I'm frustrated with YouTube? But it's all right. So paradiddle, paradiddle, double paradiddle stamp. Cool, so two singles, one double, and a stamp. Let's try that one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and big spin, big spin, stamp, stamp, stamp. So to do that double paradiddle, if you've never done one before, it's the same as a regular paradiddle. Big spin, stamp, heel. But you just have that extra dig spank at the beginning. Big spin, dig spank, stamp. So it just adds an extra two counts of the same thing you were already doing. Dig spank, dig spank, and then step, heel, stamp. 
So just in case we haven't done that before. So one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. The next part has the same rhythm, but it's a variation of it. Shuffle, step, heel, shuffle, step, heel. So instead of paradiddle, we're doing what I call a shuffle diddle, which is the same ending, but a different beginning. Shuffle, step, heel, shuffle, step. So it's just like a paradiddle, but instead of dig, spank, we're doing shuffle. Nice and easy, right? So we had one and two and three and four and to finish this phrase, you shuffle, cross, and you do a rhythm turn. Heel, heel, toe, toe. If you've never done a rhythm turn before, stop what you're doing, head to the step tutorial playlist that is down in the description, and I have a full tutorial on how to do a rhythm turn. And I love the way I explain it. I'm not like like going the best I can explain it. I'm not like doing that. I just, I really do enjoy the way that I explain it because every time I explain it to people this specific way, it just makes it easier to like understand, especially for dancers that are learning tap that are not used to turning. That's the key. When you teach like an adult class of people that were not dancers when they were younger, a lot of times turning is the most stressful part. So the way I teach it, doesn't make the turn the focal point. And that's, I think, why I really enjoy the way I teach it. But definitely check that out. If you've never done a rhythm turn before, check that out in the tutorial playlist down below, and then come back to this video when you're ready. Alternatively, like I said, people don't like to turn. It's very stressful. You can actually do this without turning. So I'm sort of gonna go over it right now. So you just did one and two and three and four and. The step itself without the turn is the same as the step with the turn. You're just not crossing, which is what makes you turn around. The step itself goes shuffle, step, heel, heel, toe, toe. So it's a heel, toe, crawl to the left. Shuffle, step, right, left, right, left. And you're moving toward the left. So that's one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. So if you don't want to turn, there's your option. Don't turn. Just don't cross it, but do everything the same. So to, to turn it, one and two and three and four and you go shuffle, cross, and then it's still the same thing. Heel, heel, toe, toe, right, left, right, left. Nothing changes, but because you crossed, it makes you turn. And now you don't even need the step tutorial playlist. I just thought it's you. Cool. All right, peace. I'm done. Just kidding. <laughs> All right, so it's one and two and three. Let's try putting those two together, the paradiddles to the shuffle diddles, and then the turn, all that. If you're not turning, no big deal. You're fine. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One and two and three and four and double paradiddle and step. One and two and three and four and five and cross and heel toe tap. Good. One more time, and then I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Five, six, seven, eight. One and two. Also, you should spot on that turn. I just can't. <laughs> I literally can't. I'm like getting dizzy every time because I can't move my neck. So you're here. Shuffle, step, heel, heel, toe, toe. Your right foot is free. You have two military. Really? Jen? Two? I just did this for two. You have two military time steps. You have step, shuffle, hop, ball, change. Step, shuffle, hop, ball, change. If you've never done a military time step before, I have that in the playlist too, Those two, the step tutorial playlist, right down below. Anything in this video, if there's something that you've not done before, it's probably in that playlist. I've done a lot. So check that out if you need anything and then come back to this video once you've learned it. But just to go over it super quick, it's step, shuffle, hop, step, step. So you have two of them just like that. Step, shuffle, hop, ball, change. Step, shuffle, hop, ball, change. So it's two. They're kind of on the slower side. It goes five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool? Now, if you're, in, you're taking this intermediate class, but maybe you're more on the advanced side, you can add a pullback to those. You can add a pullback right in there. I'm not going to for the purpose of this video, but you can if you want to. I just wanted to show you that option. Okay, so you add that to here. 
getting close to done, which is great. All right, let's do it. Um, 
Like I said, I am going to try to never do one like, like a tutorial like this again, unless this happens again with a song I really want to share with you. Like a dance that I totally want you to learn, but I can't. <laughs> so we're trying it this way and if it's effective, great. If it's not, again, I'm going to try to avoid this as much as I can. That's why I make my own covers sometimes. It's why I work with very specific artists. But this one, uh, Megan Trainor's got this song on lockdown. So, all right, last time before we move on to the third section. You ready, Wally? We got this. So it starts like a time step, but it's not a time step. So one and two and three and four. So you stomp with no weight on it, go right into a hop, just like a stomp time step, but then you like just step and then go again. Stomp, hop, step, stomp, hop, ball change. Okay, it hits the accents in the original song very well. One and two and three and four. So let's try that. Five, six, seven, eight. One, so your hop's gotta be so little and very well timed. So focus on when you're landing it, not when you're leaving for it. Focus on the landing. Stomp, hop, step, stomp, hop, ball change. Okay? Five, six, seven, eight. One. Your left foot is free after that. You have two five count rips. So it goes one and two and three and four. You want to make those sevens? Cool. You can make it harder that way. I'm not going to. They're written as fives. But if you want to make them harder to give a little bit more difficulty to an intermediate dance, go for it. You're good. All right, let's try it. Stomp, hop, step. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. From there, you're going to do the exact same thing, but on the left foot. So from the left foot, it'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just try the left foot real quick. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, Good. Let's do right to left. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. Good. Okay. So one more time. One more time. And then there's only like... One line left. Yes, one line. <laughs> one more time now. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Your right foot is free. You have paddle roll, paddle roll. So it's a three count. Dig, spank, step. Some people call that something different. That's fine. I call it a paddle roll. Not a paddle and roll, because that's another name for a paradiddle, but a paddle roll, because it's three sounds. So it's dig, spank, step, dig, spank, step, then two paradiddles, dig, spank, step, heel, dig, spank, step, heel, then step, heel. So this is, this is a complicated one. Two paddle rolls, two paradiddles, step, heel. One, and two, and three, and four, and five. So let's try that together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, seven, eight. Cool, a little bit faster. 
paddle roll, paddle roll, para diddle, para diddle, step you up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Trust yourself. Two, two, and one. Do it one more time. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. You finish it off with stamp chug. Same rhythm as the stamp stamp. And then you have ball change, toe. Seven and eight. It's like, it's on the brass again. Da, da, um. So it's stamp, chug, ball change, toe. So there's a little pause before that toe. Da, da, um. Da, da, um. Sort of. It's much easier when you hear the song. Please try this to the original song after. Please. <laughs> it fits the music, it fits the words, it fits everything. I just couldn't do it and I'm really upset about it. I, I planned on starting to film today at like 11, a late start today. Uh, we're still we're still setting up house. Um, so a little bit of a late start. I planned on starting at 11. I spent from 11 to 12.30 trying to use the song or find some other cover or a random cover. I even tried like a marching band's arrangement, okay? They are all protected, which is fine. I respect an artist that wants to protect their song. I just really, really wanted to teach you this dance. <laughs> so, where are we? Right, so let's add all of that together from one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And six, and That's how it all sounds together. Can we try it? Okay, let's try it. Five, six, seven, eight. Stop, 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 stop. No music, which would be super helpful. So try to get the Megan Trainer song in your head. Let's do a whole walkthrough. I'm just gonna speak the counts as we dance, and then we'll try it with not the correct song. All right, ready? Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, and three. too much about it because I just I feel bad because I wanted to give you like the full experience but I feel like I just wasn't allowed to so I have to give you like an eh experience but hopefully when you put it all together it works so perfectly and you're really really happy with it because that's like my whole goal is <laughs> to make you tap dance and make you happy tap dancing all right let's try the whole thing from the top to the wrong stop but it's okay we got this all right, so it's the first time we're trying the whole thing with music. Doesn't have to be perfect. Doesn't have to be like any good at all. It's the first time. The first time is for us to go, okay, transitions, cool. Song, not quite right, but it works. Everything's kind of coming together. This is how it's supposed to go. That's all the first time is for, all right? Let's do it.
quite that last line because the brass is not at the same time as Megan Trainers. But do your best. And then when you do it to the original song, really fit it to that as best you can. All right, let's try it again. This time, we're going to just try to improve a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. Nothing crazy, not perfect, not the best thing we've ever done, not stage ready. Just a little bit of improvement, getting more comfortable with it. And I think that's the key. Let's do it. my sock but we make it fun that's the most important thing that we can do when we're doing it the last time because tap dance is fun okay we got this
So yeah, please uh, subscribe and also hit that thumbs up button because that helps YouTube say, hmm, people like tap dance. Cool. We should push this out more. We should show more people tap dance and then we get more people to tap. It's like best of both worlds. So make sure you hit that thumbs up button for me because that helps a lot. Please subscribe, like I said. And as always, thank you for dancing with me.